SSX, prévu pour le 2 mars chez nous, se dévoile de plus en plus à travers les sympathiques trailers que l'on a pu voir ces dernières semaines, mais également à coups d'event qui ont pour but de présenter le jeu à la presse. Et c'est lors d'un showcase Electronic Arts, justement, que nous avons pu poser nos questions à Todd Batty, le directeur créatif du dernier SSX. A commencer par la raison pour laquelle un nouveau SSX a mis tant de temps à voir le jour. It hasn't been for, for, for lack of wanting. Um, the company has been a big believer in this franchise from day one. It's definitely one of our greatest wholly owned you know, intellectual properties. Um, and there have been some tries to bring SSX back you know, on this round of consoles. But you know, development's a funny thing. Sometimes it takes the right idea and the right team of people at the right time to just kind of have all the pieces come together. And you know, I have an incredibly talented team that I'm lucky enough to work with. And, We had some big ideas in really early days and we gained some momentum and we got a playable together and it was really fun right out of the gate to be able to play and we just got a lot of early momentum and it kind of snowballed and here we are. SSX n'a jamais vraiment été une simulation de snowboard, mais plus un grand délire sur neige. Ce n'est donc pas étonnant de voir apparaître dans la série le wingsuit, une combinaison qui permet de planer quelques instants dans les airs. Un principe qui change la manière d'explorer la piste, mais aussi de faire la course, certaines portions de map se prétendent totalement à ce genre de pratique. Definitely the coolest new gameplay innovation is a wingsuit. You know, when we were first looking at SSX, we kind of thought we should look at what people are doing in the real world and we should definitely make sure that we can do that and then figure out ways to make it even crazier. Um, and the first time that uh, I saw a, a flying squirrel suit wingsuit in real life on a YouTube video, which is crazy by the way, and if you don't know what wingsuits are, you should absolutely go on YouTube and type in wingsuit and you'll see people doing some incredibly crazy things. Uh, we knew we had to have that in SSX. It's actually one of the very first gameplay features we built, um, mostly because We knew it would have a tremendous impact on level design because when you could fly, all of a sudden you could go places you could never get to when you were just riding and um, it's been a huge addition to this game and most importantly, it changes racing completely. Si le nouvel SSX aura mis du temps à sortir, il se pointera tout de même avec un contenu plutôt riche, ne serait-ce qu'en termes de pistes et de spots. We knew we wanted to build a massive game with this SSX and we knew that if we were going to be a triple A game and you know justify you know a full price game that we should be giving gamers hours and hours and hours of content. So uh, we netted out with this SSX with nine major mountain ranges in the game, each range which has multiple mountains. I think the final count of mountains is either 29 or 30 unique mountains in the game and then on each one of those mountains are multiple tracks with multiple drop points. There are 153 different drop points in the SSX universe, every single one of those which can be played for hours trying to figure out the fastest time or the highest score or the furthest distance you can descend. Um, it's an incredibly big game and really deep. La partie online n'est pas en reste et l'équipe semble avoir compris qu'aujourd'hui, le succès d'un jeu de ce style repose énormément sur ses features multijoueurs et la communauté qui en découle. It's almost 80, 85% of people are playing games online now and we thought let's you know, make this an SSX for the connected generation. So uh, we have two major game modes that both revolve heavily around online, something we call Explore and something we call Global Events. So very briefly, you know, Explore, uh, every time you complete a run in Explore, and it's every run in the game, uh, we'll upload a ghost of that run to our servers and then anytime one of your friends goes to one of those drops, whether you're online or not, they can compete against Against your ghost. Uh, if they beat your ghost, they'll earn themselves some credits and climb up the leaderboard. If they lose to your ghost, you'll earn yourself some credits uh, that you can use next time you log back on to buy cooler gear, or a cool outfit for your character, or unlock new jobs, new characters. Everything you do in the game uh, revolves around earning in-game credits. And then global events is, you know, how you can play against people when you are online at the same time. So, you know, not a big fan of sitting around in lobbies and the, you know, sort of typical online flow. So we looked at things a little bit differently and uh, we came up with the idea for global events, which is basically a constant ongoing tournament on every single drop point in the universe starting the day that this game comes out and ships. Um, every drop, you know, a particular drop, for example, would have a one hour who can set the fastest time or the highest score on this drop. 
and you don't have to be there when it starts, you don't have to be there when it ends, you just can surf around through the globe and go, that one sounds really cool, there's 45 minutes left, I'm going to jump in, throw down a couple of runs and see how my trick score stands up. Des bonnes idées donc, qui semblent avoir été réfléchies longuement, et cela n'a pas été facile compte tenu de la pression générée par la peur de décevoir les fans de la série, comme nous l'explique Todd. The most challenging aspect of building this SSX had to be living up to expectations of one of the most beloved games in history. I've never felt so much pressure on my shoulders as I have building this game because, you know, not not only just because our fans, you know, love this game and really want it to be great, but I'm a huge SSX fan myself. SSX is one of my all-time favorite games growing up, you know, which is great. It's really cool to have the opportunity to work on a game like that. But I also have incredibly high expectations for myself when I, normally when I'm building a game, but you know, the amount of pressure to want to try to you know, bring back something that is as well known, you know, SX Tricky, SX3, I think 92, 93 Metacritic rated games. Uh, you play them today, they're still great games and they still hold up. And um, definitely the most challenging aspect was just figuring out how to make sure that we did everything that we did in this game had to be done incredibly well to a really high degree of execution. If we didn't feel like we could do something really, really, really well, we just chose not to do it. And so we tried to make sure that everything we did in the game is, is to super high quality. On espère maintenant que ce nouvel SSX saura nous procurer ces pures sensations qu'il nous promet depuis plusieurs mois et comptez sur nous pour vous en faire la critique d'ici quelques semaines. The download is complete.